Hi, everyone. Uh, I was the PMM for the SPDX project up until two weeks ago, a bit more, 20, 18 days ago, the, the end of uh, June, and uh, there was a small mishap here that I didn't access the email. So I, I, don't have, I don't have any slides to show, but, um, but yeah. So how many of you are familiar with the what a landscape is? For example, the most famous one, the CNCF landscape? Okay, and not many, okay. So a landscape is a tool that I think was started by a VC firm called Luma, and they developed this to, I guess, for, for potential investors or investors to get the lay of the land of different sectors and market segments and categories. Um, that was made manually in, on, in a PDF format, I think. I've, I've never used it myself, but I know the idea comes from there, and obviously open source developers, as developers, they, they thought that they wouldn't do manual work ever and a PDF, so they decided to um, automate it and uh, make it a bit more complicated. Uh, and it turns out that it's made with YAML and JavaScript, which are I, I'm, 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 I quite dislike both, uh, if, I'm, if I'm honest with you. It turns out that it's quite useful regardless of that, right? So this is the, my, what I'm going to describe here is a, my, my failure to deliver on the landscape. This is the CNCFs, by the way. I'll show this, the SPDX in a minute uh, at, at a current state. Uh, but also it's a cry, well, it's a request for help uh, so that we all commit um, pull requests to the specific repo that I'll show. And I'm happy, although I don't have approval uh, powers, privileges for those pull requests, I'm happy to vet them because I've gained a bit of experience in managing this. So this is a, the CNCF's landscape. I think it's very valuable for a project like CNCF, which is humongous, huge, but also for SPDX. I think SPDX covers so much ground from way many, way more uh, verticals and industries than the CNCF. I mean, I haven't compared any, but I would, I would say so. So therefore, having a fully populated landscape for the SPDX, it would be great. And one thing that people underuse of this one specifically, this, is, this one's usually, there was, there was, back in the day, there was jokes about this. I remember, I can't remember his name. He, he, uh, he used to work for PagerDuty. And every KubeCon, he would, he would print this and, um, and then he, he would copy this and print this in, in a, what's the name of this, a, a puzzle? So he would, he would, and it's impossible to, as you can imagine, right, to, to get it together. Anyway, um, so, but one of the beauties of it is that it, it does have a guide that walks you through each one of the categories, right? In this case, well, provisioning, runtime, that, those are relevant to uh, the CNCF. But I do think that if we come up, up with good categories for the, for the SPDX landscape, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, then uh, navigating the, the landscape, the community, the, the tooling, ecosystem, everything will be much, much, much easier. So as you see, uh, there are way many more companies than it, what you can see here, but I have failed to add them. But we only have two categories, right? We have no guide, which is, should be here. Uh, we have less, wait, uh, how do I, control tab, is it? Yeah, there you go. We've got way less categories, so categories would be these boxes, right? And then I'm a bit confused by why the CNCF would uh, have a serverless sort of like division and a WASM one. I'm not sure why that is, but it, maybe it's just internal politics of the project. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not that it doesn't make sense. But eventually, again, we, we would be able to uh, come up with tabs for this, for card, for, well, the card mode is a different viz. It's just... Um, you know, seeing each one of the companies or projects uh, in a big, uh, yeah, in a card mode, uh, but members and so forth. So, so, I, so that is exact. So control. There you go. That's it. So eventually, and and this is these categories are also relevant. Will be relevant in the in the discussion that we will hold at the end of this meeting because they are up, up for discussion. Right? How are we going to structure a landscape? Do we do we need to follow the NTIA's um, division that they provided for, what was it, product? Uh, they came up with, can someone remind me of the three divisions they came up with? Produce, for the, for the behaviors that a, that a tool, they, they divided the tooling landscape in three categories, produce, consume, and analyze, am I? Ex exactly, and then, 
each one of these three categories into other th three subcategories, right? Maybe following that structure would make sense and so forth. Anyway, the way to add new companies and projects, so this is my request for the community, is to go to the SPDX uh, GitHub project, right? And there's, well, entity probably is the right word, but anyway, there's a specific repo there, right? So, whoop. which one is it? Well, can I can't, can't see anything. Oh, there you go. This is the search bar, right? Yeah. Uh, is it landscape? As it should be. There you go. That's the repo. So, n m few of you, except for Rose, Kate, a few, I mean, prominent members, will have um, um, pr privileges in this repo to accept pull requests and so forth. So, uh, what you need to do is fork it, right? And make a clone it to your own uh, GitHub um, instance, profile, entity. And then from there on, make the changes to the settings YAML. And this is the my arch enemy. Because it's very, as any YAML um, uh, uh, file, is very picky on syntax. And I'm quite clumsy and uh, I just mess up all the time. But basically, you just need to add this information for each one in the category that you find the, the product the, or project should be added to. So this is adopter, the, the, the category adopter, and this another, just another one. Uh, I think it was tools. Um, and then just add each one of the required um, um, uh, values over here, right, for each one of the projects. And then there's one thing that cannot be avoided because it's obviously a visualization, so it requires a logo, but, but it, and it requires an SVG logo, by the way. But there's a, and that's quite, not every, not every project has a um, SVG logo. By the way, I did find out everything that the, the landscape project as a visualization project is not documented, so don't look up any docs, there aren't any. But there's a really neat slight Slack channel or community in the CNCF Slack, Slack instance that is called Landscapers, if I'm not wrong, which used to be private, but I, since I joined and I asked so many questions, I think they've made it public. Um, and yeah, that, that is a great resource to get your questions solved. There's, there's few people that know the ins and outs of the YAML, but anyway, they told me about Vectorize. I think it's Vectorize AI. I mean, maybe this is stupid to show, but I, I, I didn't know about this project. You just put in the logo of because this this is a requirement to have a logo of of the project that you are uh, that you are adding to the YAML file and if you have it in PNG or any other format you just drop it there and it will make a very neat um, um, SVG uh, version of it and that's all yeah I, I again I will I guess the project welcomes as many contributions to the landscape as possible I won't have the privileges to approve any of the pull requests but I'm happy to help you with the most likely, with the, with, the, with the errors, or interpreting the errors that the, the build process will produce, because I've, I've been fighting those for months lately, and I've become a bit of an expert with that. And, uh, and yeah, that's all. I'm committed to fill in that landscape, because there's plenty of companies that I need to add to that landscape, and, and by the end of this year, so I know that the next, in the next mini summit, we will see something much, much better than that, than this, right? Hopefully similar to the CNCF's one, m mostly because the, the numbers are, I mean, not similar, but if, if, if this was reflecting the amount of uh, companies involved in SPDX, it would be m much bigger. And yeah, and, that, and that's all.